Bring our first close up look at the surface of a comet. The European Space Agency has released the first images taken from the Phi Lee lander. Local 12's Josh Knight is here to share those pictures with us. Josh? That's right, guys, and it's still incredible to think that a spacecraft was remotely landed on a comet more than 300 million miles away. That's more than three times the distance to the sun. But not everything went exactly to plan, which you might expect after 10 years of travel time to catch up with Comet 67P. Take a look at this. We're going to switch over here. I want to show you what happened as that landed on the surface of the comet. This is what they were going for, and that's actually exactly where they hit. The only problem was that the harpoons that were supposed to fasten Philae to the comet actually didn't fire. So instead of just landing and staying where they wanted, it bounced, and it actually bounced in the air for about two hours. It was a kilometer off the surface of the comet, hit the ground, and then bounced one more time for about seven minutes, and now it's stuck in this one spot. And unfortunately, the spot where they thought it was gonna go would have been perfect, a sunny spot, a relatively flat spot, but now where it is, they're actually looking at some jagged cliffs and things in the way that are actually blocking quite a bit of sun. So this is actually the first shot from what we've seen from it. And what it does is it takes a 360 degree panoramic shot of it. So this is what you can imagine. It would be more like the lander is sitting right here in this area and that's what it's going to do. It's going to kind of spin around and take those shots for us. And as we zoom in and look at a few of them, you can see here's the foot of that lander right there on the comet. So that actually a comet more than 300 million miles away from us here on Earth and we're getting those pictures back. Here's one of the downsides though sitting in a shadow. They were counting on this getting about six to seven hours of sunlight each day, but it's probably only going to get about an hour and a half. So with that, likely the batteries won't remain charged. So that's what we're going to be watching for as we go throughout the next couple of days. The good thing, science is still saying this is a huge success. The lander can run nine different experiments and some of those already feeding back data. So even if it doesn't complete all those lofty goals, they're still saying that this has been a very good mission. The data could help answer questions about the formation of the solar system. Rob? Josh, thanks very much. The Rosetta mission will continue as the comet orbits around the sun. Scientists hope to gather more important information as it heats up and gets more active.